Hey homegirls, it's Heidi with Happily Thriving Heidi. It is the day where I am participating and co-hosting with my friend Crystal Hansen, and we are doing a fun collab with the playlist called Paint Something. So Crystal and I together invited everyone and there is a playlist that is linked down below in the description box that if you want to see all the other things that people are painting today, they will be able to be reached by clicking on that link. Also linked down below is Crystal's channel. Don't forget to go over and visit her and give her a wonderful click on that subscribe button. All right, today. I thought long and hard about it, what I wanted to paint because I don't know if I can necessarily top painting a piano. So after a lot of thought, I remembered that when we very first bought this home, we had this huge double trunk pine tree right next to our home and it was leaning on our roof. So the first thing we did when we moved in was had it cut down. And when we had it cut down, we had our friend who cut it down for us to cut big sections of logs because we wanted to use it around a bonfire pit. And over time, they weren't being used. They just kind of got pushed to the side of our house and our property. And then I realized, wait a second, I want to paint one of those logs. Now these logs have been sitting on the side of my house for a while, so the very first thing I wanted to do is just give it a really quick sand down so that anything weird that might have been growing on it or anything that might have just been kind of bumpy or splintering, I could go ahead and take all of that off with my electric sander. Once I got everything all sanded off and dusted off, I was ready to roll it into my house. Now these are pretty heavy logs because they were from a tree. So I did struggle a little rolling it into the house, but once I got it into the house, I rolled it onto a shower curtain. Friends, I like to paint inside my house a lot because our weather here doesn't really permit it a lot of the times. So we have just a shower curtain that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I lay that on my floor in the office when I wanna paint something because I don't really have a craft space. My office is my craft space. So I rolled it onto the shower curtain and then I wanted to use the things I had on hand because I'm trying not to spend any money on this project. I wanted it to be a zero budget. So I took out a bunch of different shades of orange paint that I had and I just kind of mixed them together until I got a really pretty pumpkin color that I was happy with. Now wanting to make sure that I still showed some of the trunk because I love the idea of it having raw wood on it still and having that fall feeling to it and rustic. I took some painter's tape and I went around about four or five inches up from the bottom and just taped around the bottom of the trunk to allow me to still have that raw wood showing and a paint nice clean line where I'm gonna have the paint moving up to the top of the trunk. Now I wanted to make sure the color really popped so I painted the trunk a couple of different times making sure the color was really saturated on there because once I had it all painted orange, I was ready to paint on a pumpkin face. Okay, so if you don't know, my birthday's actually on Halloween, so Halloween kind of holds a special place in my heart. I'm not a big fan of like the, the goblins and the creepy stuff. I'm more of like cute pumpkins and candy corn, just fun, happy, fall time type things. So I did a little research of what kind of face I wanted to put on my pumpkin. And once I settled on it, I went ahead and took a pencil and just freehanded on a face. Now, if you ever want to do something like this yourself and you have a trunk or you know someone that has a trunk that they're cutting down a tree from, it's really simple. You don't have to freehand it by yourself. You can just print it out and then cut out the eyes and the mouth and try to blow them up in size a little bit so that it matches the shape and width of the actual trunk so it's not too small on your, on your pumpkin trunk. And then just trace them on as a template. So once I had my pencil lines all in place, I went ahead and just took a smaller brush and painted in the happy face of the pumpkin.
friends, I know I'm a little excited about this project, but it was one of those things that kind of organically happened for me and I just love, love how it turned out. And I just think it is just so cute on my front porch. I hope you were inspired by painting something today. It really does not take a lot to have fun and DIY. You can pick anything to paint, an old dresser, maybe your front door, an old lamp that you just wanna give some new life to. And there's all sorts of different ways to paint. You can use spray paint or house paint that you would use on the wall. Just find some paint that you have around your home and paint something. I promise you it's super therapeutic and it just is fun to make something have new life that was old and forgotten about. Thanks so much for being a friend. Don't forget to click the subscribe button because I have more fun videos like this coming up. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about my pumpkin tree trunk. Until the next one. Bye.